Hey guys, it's me. So last week, me and Digital did one of these riddle videos. We did riddle, you have to figure out to stay alive. Like this is a life and death situation. And it's always good to be prepared. So today, I am here just by myself with you. Hi. So make sure you follow along, do this with me, and let's figure this out. So these are riddles most people can't solve. You woke up on the last floor of a tall building, which is about to be attacked, let's say by Godzilla. Oh, dang it. Maybe I should stop asking for the highest floor floor in a hotel. I guess today is my unlucky day. Godzilla has come for my soul. And I just so happen to be on the 64th floor. Goodbye world. You know, this is how I would want to go. Perish at the hands of a sea dragon. The only way to go down is to use one of the four elevators. In one of them, there's a huge venomous spider. In the other elevator, there is no elevator at all. The third elevator is filled with a poisonous liquid. And in the fourth, there's a terribly hungry cannibal tiger. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Elevator one, big giant poisonous spider, you know. Hypothetically speaking, we're living in the world of Godzilla. Yeah, you know, just the building I so happen to be in. The person who was at the very top floor, they were planning this all along. They put a giant spider in one elevator, completely snatched out the elevator in the other elevator. Put water, poisonous acid water in another elevator. That makes no sense. How are you gonna put that in an elevator? Like you fill up an elevator full of water when it gets to your floor it's just gonna go everywhere but then you could just go in after I mean I might ruin the souls of my Balenciagas but I think that one or a cannibal tiger doesn't that mean it only eats other tigers who planned this who put a tiger on the 67th floor in a New York building and was like go on attack but little do they know I only eat other tigers I'm gonna go with the mystery green juice or the tiger it's better to choose the third elevator after all once the doors are opened all the poisonous liquid will fall out. Oof! Big fat oof! oof. Comment below, what did you guys get? I mean, was the view worth it in this situation? Yeah, I guess. In one city, there was a group of criminals that had been kidnapping girls with dyed hair. Detectives managed to locate their secret lair, as well as to learn that at the head of the gang was a certain dark-haired woman. When the police broke into their hideout, they were able to detain everyone, but the head of the bad guy's clan was never found. But they managed to free three girls. The first one said that she'd been in captivity for three months. The second, that she was kidnapped five months ago. And the third spent almost a year there. What? This whole story? Let's make a secret organization to kidnap girls with colored hair. Because I have black hair and I cannot dye my hair. What? This is so dumb. It's like having an organization like I'm gonna kidnap people with a peanut allergy. Alrighty, I'm gonna be like, hey you with the black hair, you're a liar. You are a scammer. You have black hair. They only kidnap people with colored hair. That means you work there. You are part of the organization. Stripey sweatshirt and black bun, I choose you. The villain actually pretended to be kidnapped and it's girl number one. See it for yourself. If the poor girl had been abducted three months ago, her hair would have grown a couple of inches and this would have become noticeable. So, she was dyed recently. Oh! Wow, they're getting very technical with this. I'm actually impressed by this one. Like, I would have never noticed that. I would have just been like, oh, you have the black hair? This is so very obvious. But no, oh no, no, it was not obvious at all. Ooh, that's some expert thinking. Your hair looks freshly dyed. Did they do this to you here? And the other girl, I guess her hair is black because she's been there a year and it just like grew out and the color came out. So that means the leader dyed her own hair. Imagine the police coming to you like, those roots look freshly died. You ain't no prisoner, you a liar. One successful businessman, Mr. Thompson, had two sons, the elder James and little Billy. One day, Mr. Thompson called the police and reported in a trembling voice that Billy had been kidnapped. When the officers arrived to the businessman's home, he said that almost immediately after the abduction, the criminals called him and demanded half a million dollars the same day. The frightened father immediately collected the necessary amount, and his eldest son James volunteered to carry the suitcase to the kidnappers. But when the boy was halfway through, someone suddenly hit him on the head from behind, took the suitcase from his hands, and quickly ran away. What? an idiot first of all I can't believe this idiot poop face father was like oh no quickly let us go to the bank put five hundred thousand dollars in a suitcase you know cuz we all have that like lying around no big deal okay let's put it in a suitcase and just like walk to the park we'll be on our merry way we're not like in a car that's locked or anything there was no police chase it's just yes dad I will take the suitcase to get Billy back <gasps> unless it's 
a lie. Unless it never happened. Unless this was all his son's doing. James had asked if the guy had time to see the attacker's face, but he said that he didn't because the criminal hit him from behind. All I saw was his blue trousers and a t-shirt with a piggy print on his chest. Who kidnapped the baby Billy? It was the guy representing Peppa Pig. He did it. No, I'm just kidding. It was the adopted Simpson child. This one, he looked like a thumb. Stupid face, stupid drawing. I want to have a little talk with the person who illustrated this animation. It's just so ridiculous. But yeah, I think it was him because his story is stupid. It don't add up. It was James, the eldest son of the businessman Thompson. How could he see the drawing on the criminal's chest if he hit him from behind and then ran away? Oh, yes. What an idiot. You should have just been like, oh, I don't know. I think he was wearing a black hoodie. He hit me on the back of my head. But I saw that Peppa Pig. How you see it? if he hit you in the back of your head and then ran? Hmm? Arrested. He getting 40 years to life for being a bad liar. On a Sunday morning, police received a call from a boutique of elite men's clothing. Someone killed one of the sellers. He was found in the back room. Wow, that escalated real quick. Somebody was really like, hey, yo, let me get that Armani suit or perish. And he was like, no, no Armani suit for you. Shwing. He claimed that there was a power failure and all the cameras turned off, but the doors were locked, so the killer couldn't leave the room. Police carefully examined the premises and identified three suspects, the cashier, the buyer with the suitcase, and the buyer in a cast. After analyzing the evidence and thinking a little, the officers immediately detained the criminal and later he was put in jail. The who is the murderer? It's obviously the cashier. He was the one that was like, oh, the cameras, they were not working. It's not gonna be the dude with a broken arm. I mean, you know, it could be. He ain't just hiding broken bones in there. Yeah, it's gotta be the cashier. But attentive viewers probably noticed that the blood on the victim's shirt is on the left. So the criminal must be left-handed. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me it was the one with the broken arm. While it's on the left side, I mean, you could like, ugh, should like, mm. I don't think this makes sense. The cashier and the buyer with the suitcase are righties, so it has to be the guy in the cast. In addition, the police noticed that it would be convenient to carry weapons in the cast, and they were right. I can't believe it was my dude with a broken arm. What, like did the other people not snitch on him? Like the dude that worked there, the cashier, or the people there? The police have all of you guys detained. Like y'all aren't gonna snitch? Like, oh no, I just went by so fast. I don't know what happened. How did this happen? And then just walked out and casually continued looking at white shirts. I don't know, people are wild. It's like he thought he got away with it and just like stayed on the premise. It was like, maybe they won't suspect me if I buy something. <laughs> One man sued his neighbor. The cause of the dissatisfaction was a branch of an apple tree from the neighbor's land hanging over the fence, just above his flower bed with rare tulips. The victim claimed that the falling apples broke his flowers. Imagine suing your neighbor. That branch that had apples growing out of it that went over my fence destroyed my beautiful rare tulips. It's like everything going on in the world. And then there's this. The court, after listening to the man, suddenly decided that he himself was to blame. Wait, so the judge was blaming the dude with the tulips. So it is his fault. So the dude was like, cut your apple branch and pay me $100,000. For my pain and suffering. I'm sorry. My tulips pain and suffering. Okay, I don't really know the answer, but I'm gonna guess and say the apple tree was there first. And then came the tulips. Like he planted the tulips there knowing that the branch would grow over and drop apples upon your precious tulips. Tulips. It's just the gas. If you've seen at least once how tulips and apples grow, you probably know that the first ones cease blossoming much earlier than the fruits ripen, and apples can fall from the tree only when they begin to ripen. Hence, the cunning owner of the tulips specially shook the branch to get compensation from the neighbor. Wow! Stupid. So you're telling me that apples and tulips can't bloom on the battlefield? No, apparently not. Like if you were a true gardening expert, you would know that apples do not bloom the same time as tulips. So this idiot ruined his own tulips by shaking the branch and was like, ha, 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 I will get paid millions. He done ruined his own tulips. You stupid. Of all the things to like sue somebody for, this dude damaged his own tulips and was like, I blame the apples. The captain of a large merchant vessel received an anonymous message stating that there was a pirate spy on his ship. After a short investigation, he identified three suspects. The first one was a sailor named John. I'm definitely not a spy. I've been working here for more than 20 years, said John. 
The second suspect was 30-year-old Peter. I can't be a spy and a pirate. How can I be a pirate, Captain? I don't even know how to swim. And finally, the captain called a new guy named Sam, who was only 18. Yes, I entered this ship only two months ago, but honestly, I'm not a spy, I swear. Can you guess who the bad guy was? It's a second one, duh! Y'all got that right? He said I'm not a pirate. He literally just gave himself up. He walked the walk, but he don't talk the talk. He's not even a real pirate. Well, there you go. Seize him! So if you decided that the pirate was Peter, then you're absolutely right. After all, he is a sailor on a ship, but claims he can't swim. A real sailor must be able to swim, which means he's lying. Wow, he's a really bad spy. They'd be like, oh, pirate? I'm not even a pirate, so how could I be a spy? You said one of these pirates is a spy. That's definitely not me. <laughs> Stupid. While patrolling the airport building, the police heard loud noises and fighting sounds coming from the restroom. When they ran to the sound, they saw a woman with a wound on her head. The police asked the victim what had happened, and the woman replied that when she was combing her hair, someone hit her on the head from behind. The woman fell to the floor and lost consciousness for a few seconds. When she woke up, she found out that someone had stolen her bag with a large sum of money in it. When one of the policemen asked if the woman remembered the attacker's face, she replied that she didn't because the criminal was behind and she couldn't even see him. I am sorry, I'm so distracted. What is this? Since when do police look like eggplants? What kind of shape? Is this what Ed Sheeran meant when he said, I'm in love with the shape of you? Was it a specific distinct shape like this? This is supposed to be an airport police? The police immediately arrested her for giving false testimony. Why did they do this? Oh wow, that's it. Okay, so if you weren't following, police heard screaming, came to the bathroom, found this woman beat up. Why did they arrest her? Maybe because she looked crazy? Looking like a meal on a wheel. <laughs> I don't know, to me it seems like she's the victim. She got her money stolen from her. She got beat up, but that's just how it be sometimes. The woman said she was combing her hair, which means she must have been standing in front of the mirror. And she claims that she didn't see the criminal behind her. But this is a lie. So most likely she's a fraudster. What? 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 Did anybody get that? It's the woman, she's lying, therefore she's a fraud. She's trying to bamboozle money from us. This makes absolutely no sense. I don't know if you guys are aware, this might be like mind blowing news to you, but you can brush your hair without standing in front of a mirror. Insane. I feel like this one didn't really make much sense if you think it did, comment below. And don't cheat and be like, I knew the answer to all of them. So many people are like, I got all the answers right. Weird flex, but okay. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below which ones did you get right which ones did you get wrong which one of these completely blew your mind and if you guys got any of these right or want more of these videos make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe join the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys